With what we're seeing here in San Diego and all across the country for that matter, there is no denying the racial tensions between law enforcement and some communities. Our Team 10 investigator Melissa Masiha takes a look at the issues of race and bias and what's being done about it. From La Mesa to downtown San Diego and across the country, calls for justice. This follows the death of George Floyd and after video surfaced of this man's recent hey, confrontation with a La Mesa police officer. As part of Team 10's effort to dive into the issues surrounding policing, I spoke to the leaders of the three largest departments in the county. While these interviews were conducted late last year and before George Floyd's death, the issue still remains top of mind. Learning about diversity and bias starts in the academy with continual education throughout the years. What I try to focus on is who we're recruiting. We're constantly evaluating our training. It's really all about people and relationships. I requested the racial background of sworn personnel in our local departments. Al Cajon and Escondido did not participate. In the Sheriff's Department, 54% of personnel are white, 6% are black, 31% Hispanic. Sheriff Gore said it's close to representing the population in their jurisdiction, but not quite there. We're not exactly where I'd like to be right now, but that's a, that's a time-consuming process. That diversity, are you where you want to be? I'm not, you know, and, and that's one of the things that we've really been focusing on. Chief Nislight said diversity and community policing are his top priorities. How do you ease that tension? By uh, being involved, by coming to the table and having conversations. If we're working against each other, it's going to be much more difficult. All three put out a statement following Floyd's death, condemning what happened. Chief Kennedy wrote his death could have been prevented. But as we've seen, there's still a long way to go to bridge the racial divide. Melissa Masiha, Team 10.